Uh, I'm Nate Hahn. I am the program coordinator for the Plaster Creek Stewards Group, which is based out of Calvin College. Um, and stormwater management, I guess to me why stormwater management is important, um, if we think back in the history of our city and probably um, most every city, the original mentality was uh, we're making a city here. We need, when it rains, we need to get rid of the water. Standing water causes uh, disease. It floods our buildings, it undermines foundations. Get it away, get it away as fast as we can. So we built a system to do that, um, which worked for a while, but as we've built bigger and bigger cities with more and more impervious area, um, we, we start to run into a problem. Partly infrastructure is just really old. Um, and another part of that is when all that water uh, races through our stormwater system, it goes directly untreated into, um, well, where we are here, it goes directly untreated into Plaster Creek, um, which means we get a lot of water that is carrying all kinds of pollutants, um, and it moves really, really quickly into the watershed, so we end up with a pulse of water, and that flooding is uh, really the key problem with Plaster Creek and with urban watersheds um, all over the place. I'm Gail Hefner, I'm a faculty member at Calvin College and I'm part of the leadership team for Plaster Creek Stewards. Plaster Creek Stewards is an initiative to address uh, the problems within the Plaster Creek watershed and it is a, an urban watershed that has significant problems and what happens in Plaster Creek affects the Grand River and what happens in the Grand River affects Lake Michigan so there are implications for the whole region and area. Plaster Creek Watershed is a great integrator. It connects people from agricultural areas, suburban areas, urban areas all into one watershed and therefore we have a we share it and it's, we have a common concern for the health of the watershed. One of the goals we've been trying to address is, is to form upstream downstream partnerships. We want people to think what they do with their water affects people that are downstream from them. Just like the people upstream from them have done certain actions that then affect what, where they are at their homes and in their churches and their places of employment and that sort of thing. You know, we think about like, well, I live in uh, Grand Rapids or East Grand Rapids or Kent County, um, but a lot of those lines are arbitrary political lines that were just sort of, you know, made for, for political reasons or um, drawn on a map and then we have them, but they don't correlate with uh, our actual ecological boundary of how we interact with each other. So. Uh, for example, Dutton and Kentwood and Grand Rapids are all, you know, kind of different municipalities, but they're all tied together with common issues of Plaster Creek. So it ends up being a really important integrator of communities. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you when you take something like stormwater management and you just put it off into the future, I think you're going to end up paying more for it in the long run, right? Because then it's always catching up to uh, repairs in the infrastructure and um, reacting to problems instead of actually setting up a system that's sustainable and works better. Um, it might look like it has a bigger price tag up front, but if you play it out over a decade or two, uh, it's economically it's the way to go. It's more cost effective. Yeah.